Ever wondered why we crave chocolates? It's not just about the taste or the sweet, velvety texture. There's more to it. We're talking about a craving, a powerful, insatiable desire that seems to take over your thoughts. And the most common culprit? Chocolates. They seem to hold this irresistible allure. But why is that? What makes chocolates so special that we yearn for it? The answer to this question lies in the unique workings of our brain. Let's dive into it. Let's start with something called the opioid system. Emerging from the jaw vertebrates over 450 million years ago, jaw vertebrates are organisms with fully developed jaws which include fish, amphibians and mammals. We humans also evolved from jaw vertebrates. Thus, the opioid system has been passed on to humans, albeit with numerous changes and manipulations. The opioid system is widely distributed in the brain, spinal cord and digestive tract. It plays a key role in creating a sense of desire or wanting. It does so by altering what is known as the palatability or food reward system. Essentially, the system that tells us we crave something. In this system, many chemicals are at play. But when it comes to chocolate, the main player is endorphin. As we consume chocolate, endorphin levels in our brain increase. These endorphins then bind themselves to the opioid receptors, triggering the production of dopamine a chemical associated with pleasure. So, when we ingest chocolate, it increases endorphin levels, leading to dopamine production and pleasure. This conditions our minds to reach for chocolate. Fascinating, isn't it? Now, let's delve into the cannabinoid system. This system is like the conductor of our internal symphony of bliss. It fine-tunes our brain's sensitivity and response to pleasure. But to trigger this pathway, it needs a compound called anandamide. Now, here's where our beloved chocolate comes into play. Chocolate is a trove of N-acyl ethanolamines, an anandamide equivalent that acts as a key to unlocking our cannabinoid system. When we indulge in a bite of chocolate, these compounds activate the cannabinoid system, and voila! Our brain is bathed in a sense of peace and pleasure. It's like being wrapped in a warm, cozy blanket on a cold day. This feeling, this bliss, is then registered in our minds as a reward. So, with each bite of chocolate, our minds calm down and we drift into a world of bliss. The mind identifies chocolate as a reward and the next time we go through a bad day, our mind drives us to that bar of chocolate again. So, now you know the science behind why we crave chocolates. It's a fascinating play of the opioid system, making us want more by altering our food reward system with endorphins. Then there's the cannabinoid system creating a sense of bliss, triggered by compounds found in chocolate. This duo dances together, conditioning our minds to associate chocolate with pleasure and relief. Next time you reach for a chocolate bar, remember, it's not just about the taste. It's about how your brain reacts to it, leading to that irresistible craving.